Hello everyone, my name is Mariana and I'm a lead licensed practical nurse here at Coastal Gender Human Care Clinic. And today we're going to talk about subcutaneous injections which are widely used in gender affirming care. So let's get started. Step number one, we need to make sure that we got everything we need. So our medication, of course, some alcohol swabs, big needle to draw up our medication from the bottle, smaller 25 gauge 5 8 needle to do the injection itself, one milliliter syringe, just a little bit of gauze and band-aid as needed. All right, so let's clean our testosterone bottle first. And just in this example, we're using testosterone, but we can always use estrogen too. So we just wanna make sure that we clean this rubber part here and just very nice for 30 seconds or so. You don't need to clean the whole bottle. Okay, it's done. That's perfect. Just let it dry a little bit. Now we'll need to unwrap our syringe. And there we go. And unwrap our big needle too. And the needle, needle I use here is like 20, 20 gauge, I think one inch needle. So yeah, so we need to inject just a little bit of air first. Okay, that's done. And usually the initial dose is 0.2 milliliters or even 0.1. So we're gonna decap our needle, inject it in our bottle, and you already clean the rubber thing, invert the bottle, inject an air, and just start injecting medication as much as you need. Medication is usually very thick, so sometimes you can have some air bubbles and sometimes it might be harder to inject. Make sure that your uh, needle, the bell of your needle is in the bottle, so you inject the, the medication, the liquid, not the air. Okay, it seems like I don't have any air bubbles, so I'm ready to invert that again. Remove my needle, just place the cap back, and we're done getting our medication into the syringe. Okay, just final check. Make sure you don't have any bubbles. Remove any bubbles. If there's any, you can always move the plunger a little bit back and forth. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now we want to change our needle. So I got, as I mentioned, 5 8 inch needle, 25 gauge. So we're gonna unwrap it. Okay, done this. Make sure that you're not touching the part here. We don't want to touch the yellow part of the needle or the orange here. So first we need to untwist. Right, we untwisted the first needle and now we want to twist in another one. Okay. And now you can see that this needle is a bit different. So there is this special safety tool here. So you just want to make sure that you pull it down a little bit so it's not on your way. So you can see that this one doesn't have it. This one have just this small pink one. And sometimes you can have some different ones too where you just need to push a little bit. So just make sure that you know you just do some investigation, some research on the needle first so you feel comfortable. Now we're moving forward to our step three, injection sites. And the most common injection site for subcutaneous injection is our belly or abdomen area. And we usually need to locate our belly button first and then just go one inch or two and a half centimeters or just two fingers from our belly button like that, like that, here, and like any diagonal. So we're good to do our injections at any point around our belly button, but just two fingers away from it. We wanna make sure that we clean the injection site. So I wanna do my injection to that part today. So again, two fingers, and this would be our injection site. So we'll make sure that we clean this in the circular motion from the center to the sides. Okay, just very, very nicely. And just let it dry a little bit. Just make sure that it's dry, okay, it's perfect. And again, make sure that you rotate the sides, right? So this time we're doing to our left part of the belly. Next time we wanna do this to our right side of the belly and then just circulate and just go to different sides here and here. Okay, so we're done with this part. Now we wanna move forward and get our syringe ready. So we're gonna remove our cap. As you can see, the needle is very small and neat. All right, so we want to take our non-dominant hand. We want to pinch our skin, right? Just because we're doing subcutaneous injections, we want to make sure that we are getting into this fatty tissue here. And we don't want to pinch this very, very narrowly, right? We want to do this more widely, so we don't want to inject yourself. So we're gonna use like our darts, grisp, and 
and we're gonna just inject it right where you want this to go and use our index finger to push our plunger and the medication is very very thick so don't do this very fast just injecting very very slowly like that that's perfect and just to it's enough okay it's one two three and then we remove our needle and only after that you release our skin okay so we're done with the injection and you want to make sure that you're not gonna poke anyone again so we just want to use our safety tool like that click and then it cannot harm anyone if you have any medication leaking out or if you have any bleeding and that's absolutely normal because we have a lot of small vessels around that area you can just easily pad this with a small gauze like that and then if you still feel like this area is a little bit uncomfortable you can always apply a little bit of the small band-aid okay and we just want to apply just a band-aid for the next half an hour don't forget to use your sharps container and discard your sharpies correctly so we're gonna place all of our needles in our shorts container and discard it safely. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope that this video was helpful for you. Remember that Coastal is always here for you over the phone, video or in person. Please feel free to book an appointment with our nursing staff for injection teaching and we can walk you through the training at any point. Thank you and call us anytime. Bye!